Hey guys, Dave and Kevin here at BornaPlant.com, and in this box we have the Barnett TS380. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so the TS380 from Barnett right here. I guess, Kevin, what did you think about the assembly of it? Uh, the assembly was one of the easiest ones out there. I mean, it's a one bolt. You put the, the riser on, and um, you've got uh, it's set. That's it, one bolt. Yeah. You know, I, I, it doesn't get any easier. How about that quiver? The quiver, I really like the assembly. That was <laughs> you know, awesome. Quivers, quivers are kind of a, sometimes yeah, can the be the worst a pain. part. <laughs> but what they did is they set it up where it goes on the Picatinny rail, so it's easy. You can pick left or right hand side. Yep. Uh, it's again one one little bolt, uh, set screw, and you put it on there, and you're good to go. You're ready to hunt. You know I, I like it. So um, overall, I like the look of the bow. It's yeah, very comfortable. That. It's That's nice. A great look to it. It's nice and light. Um, it's yeah. got a four by thirty-two power scope on it, which is which is uh, you know More pretty clear, yeah. pretty clear. Um, it's got the tactical series butt stock, which you can adjust depending on you know you're a little yep. taller than me, so you might pull it back. I might want it forward. Which is so nice because it really yeah. allows the bow to be used by multiple people, which I love. You know, yeah. someone wants to borrow your crossbow; it's no big deal. They can adjust it to fit them, a child, a yeah. woman. It doesn't matter in this scenario. Especially, uh, uh, you know, if you're a father and you've got a child yeah. and you want to adjust it down so they can and shoot it. That's that's a great thing. Looks like it's got a lot of the good safety features on it. It's got the ambidextrous safety on it. You can see it from both sides very clearly. Anti-dry fire. It's got a nice finger track here where you keep your fingers in and uh, hold on below where you're not gonna get your fingers up in the rail. I like that. I like the feel of it. There's a lot of rubber, which makes it really nice and comfortable. And I know in the winter time, I think this would probably be yeah, pretty comfortable. Yeah, great, great feel. So, and the size, I mean, it's how wide is this thing? It's only about what, it's not, 16? not very big. Yeah, I'll go through the specs here in a okay, second. Yeah. But then you know some of the tech on the bow, they just say on here uh crane cocking device compatible. Um, metal injection molded trigger. And uh Kevin and I were just talking about it. it's trigger tech. Yeah. So it's really good trigger, but the way it looks, the way it feels is really nice. I think they did a great job. That's not the first time we've seen the trigger like that from no, Barnett. So. No, and and I'm anticipating a, a nice smooth trigger pull. Uh you know, every Bow I've shot to that trigger tech technology. I've really liked the way the trigger. Yeah, operates. it's very smooth. Um, anti dry fire again, as Kevin mentioned already. Uh, anti vibration foot stirrup, which is really nice. You don't really see these with uh, full rubberized material on them like that. So what they're saying basically is, obviously you're gonna put your foot on. It's gonna be quiet when you're 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 gonna cock the bow. But when you shoot, it's actually gonna also help with vibration, the whole yeah. bow, the whole system, which is pretty cool. Another word on that, I like I like the size of that foot stirrup. Well, it's, a, you know? it's a perfect foot stirrup. Especially, yeah. uh, you know, you're out You hunting, see so many wearing, small ones that yeah, you can't I mean, really get your foot in there. You're wearing a hunting yeah. boots, you gotta have a decent sized foot stirrup. Uh, again, uh, trigger tech we talked about, and then single bolt assembly, which uh, Kevin covered already, which is really cool and unique when you think about it. It's really, it came literally that easy to do yourself. Yes, yeah, you know, which only, is only really thing cool. Easier than that is that it comes fully assembled, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it came, this package came with a 4x32 multi retinical scope. It came with a rope cocking device, lightweight side mount quiver. So again, you can do it on either side, which is nice. Two 20 inch headhunter arrows and lubrication wax. So the package was perfect. It retails for around 530, which is a really good deal uh, for a bow like this. And you get the Barnett brand name and the warranty and all that. So yeah. that's really, really nice. So let's talk about the uh, specs real quick of the bow. Let me go through that. The dimensions are 32.375 inches in length by 18.75 inches in width. Uh, the weight is 6.9 pounds, which is extremely light for a crossbow, and that's pretty much one of the lightest ones we've had this year, I believe. Axle, axle is 16.75 inches. Draw weight is going to be 201 pounds. Kinetic energy is 122. Power stroke is 12.625. The speed is going to be around 380 feet per second. And again, we said trigger tech again, you know, it has a trigger tech on it. So, yeah. one of the things I love about the bow is what you already mentioned is the feel. The whole yeah. feel of the bow from the rubberized material really gives you the confidence in your shot, the feel. I can just tell you guys from mounting it on your shoulder, it feels so nice in your hand, especially with the weight. Um, the weight is absolutely phenomenal. 
So speaking of that, I like to talk about the pros and cons of the bow because there are a couple cons and there's a lot of pros to this bow. I would suggest uh, from my uh, personal experience with crossbows and all that, the cons of this bow would be the scope. That scope is not like a great scope by any means. It's a decent scope, it's gonna get the job done. It's not illuminated. Um, when you look through it, it's pretty just simplified. So it's just a simple scope. No big deal, you could add a better scope at this price point, obviously. Yeah. Um, the other is the bolts. You know, I really like when a company gives me three plus bolts per setup. I wish that they didn't do a two bolt thing. I'll, however, again, 530 bucks isn't a lot of money, so you could absolutely buy extra bolts, I get it. So those are my only two cons, I'd say everything else. The pros of this bow are the, the way it feels, the, the rubberized material all over it, the movable stock, uh, the anti-dry fire, the trigger tech, the price. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of great stuff to this bow. Um, and again, having a stirrup that's wide, I mean, so, you know, as much as you go out and spend your hard earned money on a crossbow, there's certain things you're gonna wanna have, right? Yeah. In my opinion, you gotta have anti-dry fire. You have to have the finger protection system. Um, they give you a quiver, which is nice. Quiver, no big deal. It could be cheap or expensive, doesn't even matter. It's a quiver. Hold your arrows, no big deal. You don't even have to mount it on here. You just put it in your backpack, which is what I do most of the time when I'm hunting. Uh, but again, you know, everything else yeah. on this bow, there's so one, many good things. One thing I will say about the bolts, they only give you two, but they're high quality bolts. They're high quality there are, bolts. There are yeah. some companies, they'll give you a three, four, but mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't hunt with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, and you, these I would, I'd hunt with. These. Interesting part about this bolt that's really uh, smart in my opinion, you don't see this on many companies at all, is they actually wrote right on here, this vein down. Yeah. So you know that that vein goes down. Now I know that seems stupid, right? You're like, oh, of course, blah, blah, blah. But there are people, there are people out there that would not know that and put the red down, I'm serious. Yeah. So, and same with cocking a bow. If you don't know how to cock a crossbow, read the manual. There's not, it's not simple, you know what I mean? Like, always take your time with these things. They are weapons and they can hurt you. There's a lot of power behind it. Yeah. So you have to understand that a cocking rope has to go behind the backside and give this leverage. You know, some people don't know that. They just try to pull straight up on a rope, it's crazy. So, um, read Wait, the manual. We've get help, it. we've seen it firsthand. Get help if you don't understand, if you're gonna buy something like this online and you're gonna get it direct and not have a pro shop to help you understand it. So just make sure you're doing your uh, doing the business right. Also suppression, the bow again has rubberized material throughout it, uh, but it does have the string stops, dual string stops right on the rail. So it's nice, it's gonna slow down that string, make it quieter. Uh, I'm anticipating the bow is gonna be close to the speed that they show with this arrow, but also that it's gonna be a very quiet bow and super light to yeah. handle. Another thing I like and I just noticed is, I like it when they put those brushes in to hold them. Mm -hmm. The, the brush tongue? In place, yeah. The brush tongue, as opposed to like that middle little metal rod that a lot mm -hmm. of them put in there. None of it means nothing until we shoot this band. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's that's shoot it, point. let's put it through the ringers, let's uh, speed test it, and let's see if she, you know she's gonna hold up. But uh, I got a feeling that Barnett's come a yeah. long We've way. We've never had a bad Barnett put it that way. And, and I, I will say this, from my younger days, and I've been around a long time, Barnett has come a long way in the comfort of their bows. You mm, know, they used for to sure. be bulky. They used to be bulky, forward heavy. These things they're making now, this is that's a very this compact is, bow. This is sweet. I mean, I'd take this out and with it. All right, let's get you. All right guys, there you have it, TS380 from Barnett. Shooting around 360 feet per second with what they provided, which I thought was really good. It's got a lot of power, felt great in your hand. It's super light, that was the other thing yeah, I noticed. It's, it's really comfortable as far as, um, this would be a great one to take in the field for spot and stock because of the lightness of it. And uh, you know, it's quiet, it's accurate, and uh, it's not a backbreaker to cock either. It's really kind of a, uh, you know, as far as crossbows go for cocking, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I thought the feel was great. Uh, again, the lightness of it was nice. Um, yeah. You were able to adjust, uh, you know, I was, I had the stock at one length, you were able to quickly put it at the other. Yep. You know, it made it comfortable for you. 
and um, yeah, I enjoyed this crossbow a lot. And, you know, I like the size too. If you were inside a blind, it's it's pretty compact. BarnettCrossbows.com, check it out. BowhunterPlane.com. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. We'll see you next time. All right.